I'm gonna have to wipe the lens off every 15 seconds because it's gonna fog up because it's so humid in Florida right now. Uh, anyways, I am loading up tonight. Uh, Raven just flew back to Kentucky to go visit uh, family and uh, me and Tucker, he just pulled up actually, are driving to Vancouver, Washington. It's going to be a long trip and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. And uh, now it's time to get cracking. This lens is gonna keep fogging so I'm gonna stop filming. It's about 11 o'clock. We're fully loaded up. Both cars, enough tires and wheels for park, generator, tools, and then in the back of the truck, we've got bumpers, spare trailer tires, other nonsense. And then for the dogs, I've got the seat folded up and I'm gonna lay down pillows and then a big comforter over it so they can just chill. And yeah, it's going to be a long drive and hopefully a very fun trip. I think the car is good to go. If I run into any issues, luckily I'll be at Chelsea's house and um, he's got everything I need to make it pretty and make it work and have a good time. So see you guys tomorrow when we hit the road. Carlos, you ready, buddy? What's up, girl? All right, shit's hooked up. She's sagging a little bit, but we're gonna make do. Here we go, 53 hours. Well, we're in Georgia and everything's going good so far. We got the dogs out here with some water and some food, a little pit stop. Uh, everything inside the trailer is safe and sound. We're out of that gross humidity. It's still hot in Georgia, but it's a little bit better, so uh, we're just gonna keep pushing along here. We're gonna switch off. I done. Roger actually built one in the alley, so we're gonna go back out there after the day before, before or like the warm up. Mm -hmm. And I go into. Okay, quick trip update. We are in, I believe, Nashville. Got the Nashville over there on Trumpus Light. Check it out. This is honestly one of my favorite cities in America, and I have not spent enough time here. I've been here a few times, but not enough times. Um, we're about a thousand miles in. We got another 2,300 miles to go. And uh, God, Nashville is such a fucking sick ass city. quarters of a mile. Take exit 2G onto US 71 North towards St. Joseph. Kansas City. <laughs> hey. Yo. What's poppin'? All right, so check this out. We are in, is this it? It's fucking closed. Okay, so we are in the middle of the Iowa, and there's a racetrack over across those cornfields that's having a drift event. So we're gonna go there. We're not gonna drift, 
but I'm gonna go check it out because it looks sick. The track looks really sick. I don't have money to enter and I didn't bring enough tires to do park and another event. So maybe I'll pull the car out and people can look at it and uh, we'll say hi to some, some people and hopefully everybody's nice and cool and then we'll hop back on the road and keep pushing towards Oregon. We are out here. I'm a media guy. Here they come down the straight. Coming in hot. I think I stopped. Keep going, dude. Yeah. Didn't even phase him. That was sick. Yeah. Staging line way out there. And then, you said there's another, there's another group out there? Yeah. This track's really, oh, I see it. This track's really, really big. Here we go, here we go. Two FCs back to back. You don't see that very much. That's dope. <laughs> this thing is sick. Good, how you doing? Good. Can I film your truck? Come on back. What the hell? Yeah, dude, what up? What the fuck are you doing here? I came to look at this truck. That's the only reason I came. This thing is sick. Alright, so the person hosting the event actually came up and said I could do a couple laps. I only got one set of tires to burn, so that's what I'm going to go through. And uh, I'm going to throw the GoPro on the helmet and go out and have a little bit of fun.
like that, it's over. Load it up. 24 more hours of driving. The car feels like shit. It's perfect. Can't expect anything more. All right, bye everybody. It's been a blast. Thank you for having us. We had a good time. Now it's back to this. So, right before we're leaving Nebraska, I happened to meet up with a gentleman from Brick House who makes these sick ass dashes. The first time I saw one was on the internet, but the first one I saw one in real life was on Literal's car at Atlanta. And he went crazy with his paint. He has this crazy dude that does paint and kills it. But I was thinking that, you know, the fact that I have to run a center uh, switch panel bezel and then made a mount for my uh, my screen, my dash display, it's kind of a pain in the ass and this is already closed off and ready to be mounted too. And it's fiberglass. So we spoke a little bit and he had a couple here. So I picked one up for my car and then your boy item B, Evan Brown with RX-7 wanted one for his car. And these fit in RX-7 FCs? Uh, yeah, apparently S chassis dashes fit pretty good. Okay, so FC, um, S13? S13, if you trim a little bit off the windshield edge, it'll fit S13. It has a shallower, uh, like, curve, curvature yeah, to it? it's a little less shallow. And on our Instagram, I have pictures actually showing each of that, Brickhouse underscore products. Um, and it, it shows you kind of the difference of the, the dash shape, uh, the windshield edge. Uh, Width-wise, it'll fit S14, S13. S15. S15, obviously. <laughs> uh, and yeah, apparently FCs are pretty close as well. So so for me, since I have the dash, you know, it'll just go there. But for the guys that run a wide band, a boost, whatever, you can use these vent holes and cut them out and uh, mount your gauges right there, which is pretty neat. How much does it weigh? Uh, we weighed one of the very first ones and it was like nine or 11 pounds or something like that. We weighed all the stock stuff and they were like 15, something like that. Okay. Um, depending on how gutted your stock stuff is. That's that's the thing, because if you still got all the vents and yeah, all, yeah, all of yeah. the climate control and stuff. Like super gutted, I think 13 was like 15 or 16, something like that, I think. Okay. But yeah, it saves you a little weight, but a whole bunch of style. Yo, it looks sick, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna try and put this in before the park event, so if you guys are coming out to the park event, maybe you'll see it in the car. Uh, this man actually saw my flocking video on YouTube and bought the same kit for one of their dashes and had some leftover stuff. So I'm gonna take that with me, flock this when I'm in Portland, try and get it switched over. Uh, I'm obviously gonna have to cut it for the cage yep. and uh, modify it for that. But other than that, it should just slip right in, correct? Yeah, yeah. Cut for your cage, make a little bracket, you'll be good to go. Sweet, so he told you guys the Instagram, but it's right here. And then I'll link the website below. They're very affordable. This guy just flipped his RV. Holy. We're gonna go make sure he's all right. So this uh, Chevy 1500 and uh, their camper the mom was driving. It fell out. Stop! 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 So, anyways, it flipped. Everybody's fine. We made sure that everybody got out of their car, uh, which is insane that everybody's okay. There they are, there on the ground. But everybody's okay. Everybody's safe. It's just unfortunate about all their stuff. Okay, everybody, we're in Idaho, which means we're one state away from being on the West Coast. And fun fact, Carlos is from the West Coast and has gone across the country multiple times, but this is Princess's first time ever on the West Coast without the crazy hot humidity in Florida. And she's really liking the weather. It's beautiful outside right now. It's probably 75, no humidity. Oh, it's perfect. Let me just tell you guys that I feel extremely stupid right now. We stopped at a Starbucks in Utah and I forgot my fucking wallet. All my cash, my card, my driver's license, everything. 
Luckily they have it and now I've paid the manager of Starbucks to overnight me my wallet. Which means that it's gonna be shipped tomorrow and get to my mom's house on Tuesday. Ugh! So pissed. All right guys, I'm happy to say that we have made it to the Northwest. We are a little bit north of Vancouver right now going to meet Mr. Chelsea Denofa at uh, a track called Spirit Peaks. He made it sound like it was a lot closer and it's really far out of my way. But uh, we're gonna go hang out and uh, probably gonna end this video there. Him seeing the car for, well he's seen the car before when I used to own it, but uh, for the first time in a long time he's gonna see the car and now that he's a new owner. And uh, end the video and get started on all this content from, from our, you know, Portland, Vancouver, Northwest adventure. I'm really excited and I hope to see everybody at the event uh, next Monday. I'll insert that flyer right here. We're 10.9 miles away from the track. Pretty weird. It's like an overgrown thing. I don't really know. It's a Mustang on track. It must be one of Chelsea's homies. Dogs are finally getting a chance to chill. And uh, out here, Chelsea's doing some instruction. Got the cars out here, but it's raining. Typical Northwest. All right, so we made it to Spirit Peaks and uh, Chelsea bought this car. I'm gonna end the video here. And in the next video, he's gonna have some clips driving it, giving his uh, two cents about it, how it feels, what he's gonna change. That, the sun came out, the bling is showing. Yeah, that M2 paint looks good. At least it's got BMW cut paint on it. But uh, yeah, he's gonna get out and drive it a little bit. I'm gonna drive the S14 a little bit. Uh, I'm actually filming this after we've already driven because I forgot to film when I got here. Well, you I, was, were driving. I was so excited. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And he wanted to drive in the rain, so he didn't go through his tires every lap. Exactly. So hopefully you enjoyed the trip from uh, Florida to Washington. And uh, it is. Stay. Two hundred miles. Tomorrow's video is going to be full of drifting here with my car, um, this sick ass Mustang over here. I didn't get any clips of the Z. Sorry. I'm about to go drive that. <laughs> Chelsea's going to drive the Z and uh, me breaking my S14. So, enjoy.